All right. So it says factor this that it file factor this thing. All right. So this is difference of two perfect squares. So it's four x squared minus nine, and four x squared plus nine. And then this is two uh, x plus three. Down the difference of two perfect squares and two x minus three times four x squared plus nine. That won't factor. All right, so then each of these will give us, oh no, it just says factor, Never mind. sorry. Don't have to do anything else. All right, so that's the answer right there. Completely factored, you can't do anything with four x squared plus nine. The second one says, someone graphed this and said all the roots are real. Is it right or not? If you graph this, it's gonna be a parabola and the only, it's gonna have two roots. Let me actually graph it and drag and drop it in here. So y equals clear. It was, I forgot already what it said. 16x to the fourth. Oh, minus 81. Graph. All right, let's, uh, let's window this. And let's go from like negative 50 to 50. Still gigantic. All right, but you can see it's a parabola. All right, so it's a parabola. Drag it over here. Let's put that back on. Okay, so there's my graph. So it says this proves that the roots are all real. X to the fourth would have four roots and only two are shown on the graph. So there are two imaginary roots. That's one way to show it. All right, draw a sketch of it. Okay, you could also point to this right here and be like, that's giving imaginary roots. Okay, because it can't, whenever something can't be factored, I don't want to say that. A lot of times when something can't be factored, it ends up giving you imaginary roots. Okay, so we need to make sure that we're careful with that. The graph is that by far the easiest way. You obviously can't drag and drop on the regions exam, but draw a little sketch of it and use the graph to explain something like that.